again for another awesome video and we are going to be unboxing the Sega Mega Drive 32X which is right here. Um, apologies for the echo, there's loads and loads of like, echo in my kitchen. Um, I wanted to do this down here because it's bright and I can't vlog to set my lights if I'm brutally honest. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look at this, we're going to be doing it GoPro style, there'll be additional pictures on Instagram, I'm super damn excited. And then we're going to be taking a look at these three games. Um, I've never owned a 32X and it wasn't a console, or sorry, a periphery, a peripheral, um, an add-on that like we came across as much as kids. So this is like a huge, huge deal. Also, I have here a Mega CD Model 2. Um, mine unfortunately shipped the bed, so I got a new one. So I bought all of this as a bundle. I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I paid for this. Um, at the end of the video, so we're going to come back and we're going to conclude. So enjoy the video, go and follow me on Instagram and make sure you guys hit subscribe and hit that like button and definitely give it a share if you feel 2018 is going to be Sega's year. Alright guys, so recent pickups then, you've seen it in the thumbnail, an Immaculate Mega Drive 32X add-on with three games and um, a Mega CD2. Um, I did have one of these, but it kind of like bummed out on me without me, so I kind of figured I'd I'd pick another one up. Um, the plates are on the way, um, and obviously I've got a Sega Mega Drive Model 2 upstairs. So we are going to be unboxing this. There are some sealed leads in this. Uh, there are some sealed cables. As you guys can see, the box is in really, really, really nice condition. Um, Barry actually said, because I got this from Game & Movie, I actually went back. Barry said that this is probably one of the best um, conditions 32Xs that he's seen. Um, I mean, there's the obvious kind of scuffs on the corner right there. Um, oh, by the way, I'm in my kitchen, so I apologize for the echo. So we're gonna take a look at this. I'm super stoked. Um, I'm still gonna go in for a um, multi-mega as well. We're also gonna be taking a look at the games. I uh, picked up Virtua Racing Deluxe. Uh, boxes again in really really nice condition. He did have some more rain, so I'll probably be you know taking a look at them over the coming months. Uh, Star Wars Arcade. Uh, let me know in the comment section, guys, if you've played any of these. Um, I haven't played this, that's why I picked it up. And I think Doom on the 32X is actually a really good port. Um, so I, you know you kind of can't go wrong with Doom. Aside from this like bordering around the actual gameplay itself, I actually really like this version. Um, so we're going to be taking a look. Um, inside these in this video as well. But first things first, let's unbox this. Let's move this out of the way. Let's just put the uh, Model 2 back there. And here we go. Here it is. Um, again, really sorry about the echo in my kitchen. Kind of gets a little bit noisy in here. Look how nice of a condition this box is. It is in such good condition. We're gonna just, ready guys, here we go. I kind of figured we'd use the GoPro because um, you guys can just literally see what I see and I think for something like this it's definitely worth it. Already you can see how nice this looks. I'm just going to take that there. So here we go. Got the manual. Um, still in the original packaging, sealed with tape. Um, got the leaflets there as well. So I'll probably just take a look at this. Let's just take a look. Um, this, like I said, a lot of the wires in here are untouched. Um, got the manual right here. Uh, it tells you obviously how to put it together. I've never owned a 32X, so it's probably like where my knowledge lacks the most. Um, but that is in really nice condition. And also a guarantee registration card. Based in Lancashire, of all places, no way. Check that out. Dear customer, thank you for buying the Sega Mega Drive 32X. Da -da 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 -da. We hope you have hours of fun. Of course I'm gonna have hours of fun. That is so cool, that is so cool. But things like this, again, we've often said it, the retro gamers in us um, kind of miss this paraphernalia that you get with games these days. Everything tends to be focused on digital, and that is a shame. And then when you do buy hard copies, you don't get your manuals, let alone registration cards. So we're gonna go ahead, uh, we're gonna pop that right there. And here it is, box again, in a box, very nice condition, really, really sturdy. Um, everything is in here. We had a quick look in the store. Um, we'll go ahead and take the wires out first because I'm eager to see which ones are actually sealed um, and which aren't. So this is obviously not sealed. This looks to me like this is the RF lead. Um, wait a sec, is this sealed? <gasps> no! That is actually sealed. 
That is fact is that factory that is factory seals. I may actually have one of these knocking about. I might actually buy some third, like ones that are open, and maybe keep these sealed. Let me know in the comment section below. Would you open the sealed cables or would you leave them uh, sealed? So we've got the power supply right here, obviously not sealed, but again, original bag, I'm assuming. Let's take a look. It says here, um, AC mains adapter. Uh, looks like a regular, I don't actually think, I don't know if this is the same as a Mega Drive adapter. I don't know if there's any difference. Again, you guys can knowledge me up, skill me up in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So this one's sealed, this obviously isn't. Uh, we've got the plates. I'll just stand up and show you guys. Uh, we'll just pull all the wires out right here. Um, holy crap, guys, check it out. Sealed, sealed stuff. And again, I'm gonna show additional stuff on my Instagram, so check the description out. I'll put it on the screen right now. Um, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, because there will be additional stuff on there. Again, this one is also sealed. I'm probably gonna keep these sealed and buy them off eBay, or maybe just hit up some like the retro game stores that I already know. Um, the person that owned this has clearly looked after it. I mean, look how like they've torn the bag, and it's they've like only half torn it to get the plates out. I don't know how they must have had additional wires, but yeah, plates, and then the 32x itself. It's kind of wow. Okay, wait a sec. Here it is. Woohoo! Here it is again. Original bag. Check that, guys. Check it out. I mean, yeah, it's going to need a little clean. But I don't care. I don't care. So AC adapter, AV in and AV out. Um, a little bit dusty. Pins look pretty good to me, just on kind of like initial inspection. That is in really, really nice condition. I'm super stoked with that. Um, again, let me know in the comment section below. Um, do you own one of these? Should I open the wires or buy additional ones? Um, and I'm going to tell you at the end of this video, when we conclude, when we go back to the games room, I'm going to tell you exactly how much I paid. And if you haven't seen the gaming movie shop tour, it'll be located in the cards as well as an additional pickups video. So go, go and check that out. I'm going to put all this back and we're going to take a look at the games right here. Now these things, uh, the game cases themselves remind me of like old VHS tapes. Um, I'm sure plenty of people out there know exactly what VHS are. Let me just go ahead and put this all in like super carefully because I really don't want to damage the box. I know that sounds really corny guys, but I really don't want to damage the box. And I want this to be quite an in-depth unboxing, so we'll just put all this back. Keep it nice and sturdy, keep it nice and box fresh. Um, put there. And again, additional pictures over on lovely Instagram. So go and check that out, you're not going to want to miss it. My cats are probably going to destroy this, so that's why I think I need to put it away now. So, probably time lapse through this if it gives me any agony. So the games then, the games for the 32X tend to be quite pricey. Um, it's kind of like, I mean, Barry said to me, he kind of, his games kind of range between like 50 and 30 pounds. Sorry, 50, sorry, 20 and 30 pounds, um, which I don't think is too bad. I'm probably going to get like, I think, I'm going to get loads more of these actually. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I know. Um, so let's take a look at the games themselves. Again, box in reasonable condition. I've seen worse. And again, this is where the old VHS kind of stuff comes in. So you've got the little slip case there and then the cartridge itself in the caddy. Uh, manual resembles like Sega Mega Drive original manuals, which is just the kind of basic shape. You know, there's not really a lot to say about that. Multiple languages, which I think is cool. And then the cartridge itself is right here. Um, I'm just bringing in, there's a little nick on it there, but that's absolutely fine. There was another copy of this. Uh, but it had like a huge price sticker on it from from the past so i kind of figured you know i'd go with this one it was the better one out of the two and then the caddy is right there so that's pretty darn gnarly let's take a look at star wars arcade original sega software lucas arts oh the days before disney the days before disney got their greedy little hands onto the star wars franchise um okay this is a little bit more stubborn without me I think I think a few people have had difficulty getting in this because you can see the depression right there where people have been trying to kind of meow this thing out oh my god there we go there we go um so this actually has a much better support really because it's got the internals inside the caddy so that's pretty cool we've got manual 
a second. Wow. Oddly, that cartridge weighs a little bit more than what virtual racing does, um, but whatever. And then again, same kind of manual, Mega Drive classic style. Looks pretty neat, looks pretty cool. I'm going to leave these out because we're going to get a nice Instagram pic. And finally, the cream of the crop for me, it is Doom. If it wasn't for this hellish border, this for me would probably be up there in one of my favourite ports um, of the game. Again, internals inside the caddy which is good you can see the manual which looks absolutely let me just take a look at this how crisp does that look guys that looks gnarly that looks so damn clean as does the uh, cartridge itself so that's pretty cool and that is it guys we're going to go back to the game room we're going to conclude let me know what you think in the comment section below and i'm about to tell you exactly where i paid for all of this including this as well upstairs so don't go anywhere so there we go packed away um thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed that video this is a big deal for me um, and like i said i still want to get the sega multi mega uh, but i decided that like this month i'd be go i'm just going for the 32x because you don't come around them often in this good of a condition like i know i can get, i know where i can get multi megas from I don't know where I can get 32Xs from in this condition, so that's why I decided to pick it up. Let me know which games I need to pick up for the 32X, so slam their recommendations in the comment section below. And thank you very much for supporting my content, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. We've got a bit of a heat wave here in the UK. Um, and I will be back all weekend with streams. We've got some God of War coming. You don't want to miss it. I'm super excited. But for now, guys, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. My name is Gemma. Take care. See you soon.